This is Reykjanes Peninsula, the most visited region in Iceland and home to Iceland's international airport Keplavik. However, this geologically unique part of the island might soon undergo some drastic changes. So, a lot has been happening lately and if you've been following this situation for a while now, you already know that the situation itself is getting more dangerous and more tense by each day. A lot has changed since earthquakes and uplift started some two weeks ago. What originally seemed just as another possible so-called tourist eruption in the area of previous three events has now developed into something much more serious. Yesterday, on 11th of November, the area was struck by a series of strong earthquakes, some measuring M4 and some even reaching M5.2. Things were falling off the shelves and the roads got damaged. The state of emergency has been declared and all of the roads leading to town Grindavik on the south coast of Peninsula are now closed. The newest information that we got recently also suggests that the eruption might not reach the surface right next to famous Blue Lagoon as it was originally spoken about as the most likely spot. At the map published by Icelandic Meteorological Office yesterday we can see this red line showing a dike intrusion. What this red line translates to is a 15 km long area of where the magma could reach the surface. Well, and the sad news is that small town Grindavik, which is home to some 3,500 people, lies basically right next to this red line. All residents have now been evacuated and the future of this town is now in hands of Mother Nature. But what I know is that many of you who are watching this are planning your trip to Iceland soon and are basically wondering whether the volcano will have any effect on air traffic and if it's even safe to visit the island. In previous two videos that I made, I was convinced same as many others, that this won't be that big of the deal. But that actually might not be true anymore. And so let's come back to this map for a second, because as you can see the line, the dike intrusion extends beyond the land and into the sea. And that's very bad news. If the volcano in fact erupts in those places, we are looking in much more explosive and violent scenario. And except for the explosivity, the underwater eruptions are known to also produce much higher amounts of smoke, ash and dangerous gases. And trust me, I'm no expert on this. I'm just a guy with a camera who likes to share his videos from Iceland. But here's a wild thought. What if the scenario of the underwater eruption actually becomes reality? What happens with air traffic then? Will they have to close down airport in Keplavik? Can they redirect the flights to different airports in Iceland? Honestly, I haven't really seen news talking about this too much and so I'm as much curious as you are. I really wish I could give you a clear advice whether you should cancel your trip or not, but I can't. The situation always keeps changing and the information that we have this morning might be completely different in the afternoon. At the moment, there are more questions than answers and I think that all we can do now is to wait and let things unfold. And nevertheless, you should keep a close eye on the news and you can also follow my channel for more updates and videos from Iceland.